Well, hi there, it's Emma the Collie Crafter and today I'm showing you how to make these handy dandy cleaning cloths that are reusable, made from scrap flannel and some scrap pieces of towel. Now, this really is a scrappy piece of towel because it's one that the dogs uh, got into and destroyed when they were puppies. So I'm just cutting out a six and a half inch square here out of this scrap piece of towel. You could also use some terry cloth um, or if you manage to have happen upon a good deal at a thrift store or a yard sale for a towel that would also be great and these are quite handy to have around they make a good um, gift my parents keep asking me for these so just a six and a half inch square of the terry cloth or the towel and then a six and a half inch square of um, this is flannel that I'm cutting here but you could also use a quilting cotton or something so again just want to cut out a six and a half inch square you could also make these a little bigger and do a nine and a half inch square and those work quite well for the kitchen for us so we have a big stash of them that we use for various cleaning around the house. So I'm just trying to decide which side of the towel that I want facing out. There's like a more fluffy side and a more coarse side. And in this case, I want the fluffy side on the outside. So I'm gonna put that facing the right side of the flannel there. And then I'm gonna put some pins in. Now I'm just putting some pins in to mark where to start and stop with my sewing because I need a gap where we're going to be turning this uh, inside out or right side out rather um, but I think you'll see as I'm sewing this that the layers move so having a few more pins would actually help stop those layers shifting as I'm sewing and you can see here I'm trying to line things up and make sure that the two layers are nicely together while I'm sewing. So I'm just going to do the back stitch um, around uh, the first needle and uh, yeah, pull that out so I don't accidentally run over it. And then I'm just going to be straight stitching all the way around about a quarter of an inch. Oh, no, helps if you put the uh, sewing machine the right way rather than doing more back stitch. And then when I get to the corner, I'm going to put the needle down, lift the presser foot, turn the work put the presser foot back down and here you can see I'm trying to align everything again just make sure it's not shifting too much and then carry on sewing so you want to do that all the way around the piece of work until you get to the last um, or the the remaining pin that's there because again you want to make sure that you're leaving an opening so we can turn this around so again kind of fussily here trying to keep the layers together although really it doesn't matter too much um, because this is a scrappy project um, and we're going to be top stitching those anyway so we're just going to keep going all the way around keep sewing again this is about a quarter of an inch so I'm just trying to keep things mostly straight together I think if I was to do this again a walking foot would be a lot easier um, it would help keep those two layers from shifting too much um, but I just happen to have my patchwork foot on from the quilting project that I've been doing so that's what I'm using right now so I'm coming up to the end here so again needle down lift the presser foot turn the work press the foot back down now I'm going to stitch towards where that needle was and then I'm going to put it into back stitch back stitch a little bit just to secure those threads so I'm going to take the work out and trim off those threads and before we turn the work around we're going to need to trim the corners so this will help make things look a little nicer so carefully trim those corners be sure that you don't cut the stitch line so it's better to just trim a little bit and do that on all four corners and then we're going to turn this the right side together i'm going to push out those corners and that's going to help it look a little more square and neat rather than having these big rounded corners but i mean the towel or terry cloth is a little bulky so they're not going to be like perfect you know square corners but trimming out some of the bulk does help and it will help when we're top stitching so here I'm just trying to poke in 
the um, excess fabric around where that opening was just to help keep things a little flatter and it'll make it easier for me when I'm stitching. I'm just carefully using a uh, the back of a pen here because um, that's what I happen to have handy just to press out those corners a little more. Now we're going to sew closed that little opening. So we're going to start by doing, I'm starting yeah about in the middle of that back stitch a few stitches and then I'm going to sew around in a top stitch um, I'm I'm probably not doing a quarter of an inch here I think I'm doing just a shy of a quarter of an inch um, just to kind of keep things as a decorative sort of top stitch here because this is a cleaning cloth I'm not overly fussed about having really nice decorative stitches but if you have a sewing machine that has decorative stitches then that can make these look really nice especially if it's something that you're going to be giving as a gift so I'm just doing a stitch all the way around until I get back to where I started where I'm going to sew over a little bit and then do another a uh, few back stitches just to secure those threads and that helps keep those layers together I'm going to trim those excess threads yes you can trim them longer and bury them in the work so you don't have um, them unraveling but I'm okay with that next we're going to do a straight stitch X across the piece of work again this is to keep those layers together and stop them shifting too much so we're going to do a back stitch for a couple of stitches and then we're just going to straight stitch and I'm eyeballing this I'm not um, really taking too much care I'm just going corner to corner here and I'm going to do a back stitch when I get to the end pull out the work and then I'm going to go to the other corner and do the same thing so under the needle we're going to back stitch a couple and then I'm going to eyeball it to the other corner again if you've got decorative stitches or you want to do something a little different um, you can do that too this particular step of doing the um, straight stitching in the X isn't really necessary but I like it just because um, it stops those layers shifting too much and um, I think that it works a little better and that's it easy peasy simple project to do with your scraps so what are you gonna make